Previously, on part two of our Prince Edward Island adventure, we left Cedar Dunes Provincial Park on the west side of the island and headed to the north shore staying at Cabot Beach Provincial Park. After three nights there, we headed east to Brudenell Provincial Park. This is part three of our three-part PEI video series. I do not feel good about this. Where are we off to? We're going fishing. One Kent Street. <laughs> One Kent Street. <laughs> So it takes about a year and a half to grow muscle, three and a half months over there. And then when they put them over here, it's going to take perhaps about another 15, or not even that, perhaps 12, 13 more months. So the lobster would actually try to get in that trap. He'd come around and bump it all over. And then he goes up here. And if that was open, he'd walk in there. He'd start eating a bait, turn it over. No, it's a male, so there's going to be no eggs involved here, so it's going to be a keeper. How do you know it's a male? <laughs> you flip it over, and the tail's very narrow, not very big, oh, he and he, like got, he got two of these little fellas. Oh, he's got two. Well, yeah, luckier, <laughs> <laughs> luckier than a dog with two something, eh? Now, do you know why we put the bands on them? It's nothing to do with our fingers. They don't care if he bites five of my fingers, takes three of them off. What they want is a lobster not to bite another lobster and they hit and kill it. Mm. So the bands are all about keeping the lobsters in the tank safe. Mm. Hey, hey, male, soft. Oh, oh. First one, peppers, green, nice and soft. No. Fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> if they're hard. It's called a worm liquid only. <laughs> How much is a fishing license worth? Uh, well, when I bought it in 87, I paid 75000 which was unheard of. That was a very high price. Wow. And uh, I sold it. 11 years ago for 250,000. And my license just sold again here a couple months ago for a million. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's how much they're going up. Now, this here's a rock crab. Eric and I fished rock crabs for 25 years. Yeah, right? Right there, you got it. Here we go. Anybody else? If you want to see how hard they bite, just put your finger right in the claw. Kelly, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> just let them have a little bit. Of oh, there's the seals. Yeah. Black that one is, and the other one's white. I know. I thought the white ones are usually younger. Get that line straight down there. Flip it up. Okay, we have somebody right here. Right there. Right in the middle. Somebody and if you feel like your line is going over too far there, just reel it up and drop it again. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Yep. We're jigging for mackerel. There you go. Wow. Take your rod back here to Cindy a little. There you go. That looks like a keeper. Maybe. Good go. Oh, look the poor little knock the crap right out of me. How many did you catch? One baby. Really? Oh. That was it. I caught five. Two were keepers. Oh, that's better. Good 
job. Five. How many keepers? Okay. <laughs> Still fighting over it. Well, he's got a piece. Look at that. Oh boy. Tastes like fish? Very moist. Very moist. Very moist. Tranquility Cove Adventures and this is Captain Perry. He just took us out on an awesome boat tour and uh, how do they book this? You just go online tcapei.com and you can book right online. Fishing, clamming, private charters, whatever you like. It's a lot of fun. It, it really was. Fun. It was amazing. Don't pass it up. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Have a good trip. Look what we found in Cardigan, PEI. It is so adorable. It's like dollhouse size. It's Canada's smallest library. And you can even rent VHS tapes. Yes, you just get your uh, library card across the street at the Heritage Center. This is the Surrey Beach. Uh, it's actually a very sunny day. We've got a fog rolling in here right now, but it's sunny above that. Once the fog lifts, it's gonna be a beautiful day. You can see it's low tide. Look how far that sand is going out there. We're on the hunt for sea glass and apparently Surrey is uh, very popular for finding sea glass. So we're finding a lot right here. See what Jamie has here. Oh yeah. There's a baby green there. Oh, that's a nice one. now at the Surrey Farmer's Market. <sighs> Card made out of sea glass. We didn't find sea glass that big. So here in PEI, each of us has taken home something from the island. Cheryl got a nice hoodie. Jamie, well, he's not really taking it home. He's getting some pastries and he's consuming them here. Uh, Kelly just got something. She's not telling us what it is though. Maybe we'll find out later. And I just got something. I got some uh, whiskey. It's uh, distilled here. It's the Myriad View Artisan Distillery in Rollo Bay. It's a great place to come. 750 milliliter bottle. About $40. Um, so it's a, it's a reasonable price. They do free samples and they'll even give you a free little tour at the back and show the distilling process. It's pretty cool. When the tide's coming in, you can just float the current right down this little channel. 
when it's going out, you can float the current out of the channel. So this is Singing Sands at Basin Head. We're gonna go down there and check out to see how they sing. I don't hear it singing. I don't hear it singing. Do you hear it singing, Cheryl? Um, no, but I just heard the horn shoot on the boat. I spoke to a local about the singing sands and found out that they probably aren't going to sing too much today because the sand is so damp. She said when it's hot and the sand is really dry, that's when it sings. So if you go at the sand uh, higher up the, the loose sand, uh, closer to the dunes, that's the sand that really sings. Um, and it's best to go when not a lot of people have disturbed it beforehand. It's the friction of the sand rubbing against itself that makes the uh, singing part. Well, we couldn't make the sand sing, but uh, it's a beautiful beach. Uh, this would be the place that we'd go for a swim if we were gonna swim. Uh, we just don't have time for it. We're just checking out so much stuff right now. So uh, we're gonna move on to the next place. Probably heading to East Point next. This is the easternmost part of Prince Edward Island. We made it from the North Cape to the East Point. We get our certificate. Thank you very Thank much. You. And we get to keep our ribbons. You'd be surprised how many couples get to. We're at North Lake Harbor on the North Shore of PEI, close to uh, East Point and East Point Lighthouse. Uh, in this harbor, this is where they bring in the tuna. I was just having a look at this boat here, and you can see the chair that they sit in to uh, fight that tuna and reel it in. There's a board at the bottom there where they can put their feet to get a good planting, sit on the chair, and there's a spot there to uh, put in the end of the rod and have the fight to bring in that monstrous tuna. So what, what are you fishing for with that? Um, bluefin tuna. Uh, I got one yesterday. Ah. That's one lure. And how, how heavy was it? Uh, just about 500. Wow. <laughs> Holy jumping. The gentleman we were just talking to that showed us the lure, he says there's 13 squid on that lure. He's fishing for bluefin tuna. The one he caught yesterday took him four and a half hours to bring in. And we're at the Harbor Authority now where the tuna come in and get lifted up and weighed. And we're told that in about half an hour or so, there should be one coming in. So we're gonna stick around and check that out.
everybody? Yes, we can all. That's, that's I, I know, I'm just choosing. Choosing. Toasting. 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 Yeah, there we go. All right. Cheers. We have the Nomad, Rose, and Oyster. Clam, seafood chowder, mm -hmm. lobster roll, and a garden salad. Mm -hmm. One in PEI. Oh, hello, and welcome to this very special edition of Camping Entertaining with Kelly, coming to you from the beautiful red soil potato province of Prince Edward Island. In this episode, I found some delicious made in PEI treats for an island inspired charcuterie board. And everything I need is in this potato sack. Want to know what's inside? Stay with me and I'll show you what I've got. And now for the big reveal. First off, I brought a board from home. Oh, there they are, camping with the coals. Now, what would any island inspired meal be without some potatoes? So first off, I've got potato chips. Now these are called Spud Island. I've got barbecue, and I've got sea salt. Great crunchy starch. Next, what else do I have? Ooh, what would any charcuterie board be without cheese? Now, cow's creamery, they don't just make tasty ice cream, they also make tasty cheese. I thought I'd try apple tree smoked. Got it at the grocery store. Another dairy on the island is ADL. I chose some two-year-old cheddar. Yum, yum. Finally, I found some cheese curds. Squeakies. These actually come from a place called Mo Caramel. Again, in PEI. Now next up, I've also got some sweet treats inside. First off, I've got some yo-yo cookies. These are salted caramel. Butterscotch chip shortbread filled with caramel real butter buttercream and a sprinkle of coarse sea salt. These come from Belfast PEI. Now did you know that Ben of Camping with the Coals loves coconut? Look what I found in St. Peter's Bay. How coconut he refused this. It's chocolate made by Fritz Chocolates. Yum yum. What else do I have? What? How did they get in here? These silly guys are from the wrong island. These ginger snaps, but these are from St. John's, Newfoundland. I found them too, and I love them so much, I thought I'd take them for home. I'll just slip them back in the bag. And we need a beverage. Look what I found. 
It's Anne's favorite drink, raspberry cordial. Now the beauty of all these products is I can enjoy them on the island, I can enjoy them on my next camping adventure, or I can take them all home, enjoy them at home with my family, maybe camping with the goals, and we can remember our lovely time on the island. Thank you for joining me on this episode, very special one, of Camping Entertaining with Kelly. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going riding horses. Let's do this. Hey, you're looking good, eh, buddy? Well, you need some pressure with her, right? She's a strong, stubborn woman. Well, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, and I'm riding Bo. And Bo's a big boy. Bloom's a beautiful girl there. We're going on a trail ride. Oh, you're a good boy, Bo. Come, what a guy. There's nowhere else to be that you'll be disappointed, but it's all you eat and very, it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. We are very lucky. <laughs> And she's just like the Cadillac horse. How old is Bo? Bo is uh, 21 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. These are the very season, so this is like an early retirement. Mm-hmm. We know summer's coming to an end once that is. So it's our first week back to school for our kids this week. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a very good girl. We're very lucky. She's a good girl. Good ride. How dark do? Yeah. <laughs> What's yours name? Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. Yeah. She's a little one. No trouble at all. She's the oldest one, I think they said. 34. 34. Wow. So we're at Broodnell Riding Stables. It is right next to the main office for the Broodnell uh, Provincial Park. You can make your reservations online. It's a uh, one hour trail ride. That's right. And it's about $50. It's a really good time. You go along the beach, you go in the woods, nice trails, the horses are great. Great addition to your camping experience. Have fun. It was time to leave PEI. We had a 664 kilometer drive ahead of us through New Brunswick to our first night stop at Republic Provincial Park near Edmonston, New Brunswick. across the Confederation Bridge back to New Brunswick. So when you get onto PEI coming across the Confederation Bridge, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free to drive onto PEI. But they get you when you want to leave PEI uh, to cross the bridge for cars for the first two axles. It's $50 and 25 cents. So that's cars, pickup trucks, vans. Most of your motor homes, class A, B's and C's just have two axles. So it's 50, 25. Um, and it's eight dollars and fifty cents per axle after that. So for us, it was uh, sixty-seven twenty-five because we had two extra axles for an extra seventeen dollars. And you can pay with a credit card at the uh, toll booth very quickly. Hi, PEI. It's been fun. A beautiful island. But the, uh, the other option is if you don't want to pay to go over the bridge, you just stay in PEI. Yeah. Yeah. Or the other option is you can take the fare. I guess you could just think of it as divide that in half. So half of that would have been coming and then yeah. the other half going. So yeah. you just kind of pay it all at the end. <laughs>
we made a brief stop in Shediac, New Brunswick to check out the giant lobster. The Shediac Lobster. We arrived at Republic Provincial Park. This park has 100 campsites that have either two-way or three-way service. 50 unserviced sites including 10 hiking campsites for cyclists, 5 cabins and 6 chalets. There are 4 comfort stations with flush toilets and showers and 1 laundry room. There are 2 kitchen shelters. volleyball courts, a fully equipped outdoor playground, horseshoe pits, two tennis courts, an amazing amphitheater, a heated swimming pool, a restaurant, store and first aid room, as well as a boat ramp. There are also hiking and cycling trails. And this is us, campsite number 89 at Parc de la Republique in New Brunswick, near Edmonston. It is a uh, big, flat site, really big site. It's well treed. Uh, there is no low ground cover. It's just like mowed lawn. So you can see a lot of campsites around, but that's okay. This is very nice. You can also hear the highway, but we are right next to the Trans-Canada Highway here. And this is just for an overnight stop for us. Next to our uh, trailer is a hiking trail that goes in behind our trailer too, and goes around the park. So easy access to the hiking or cycling trail, whatever you want to do. It's all crushed stone, easy to do both. Really nice setup here for the dump fill station. You've got two uh, dump stations that are completely separate from the fill area. So there is no waiting for somebody to dump or somebody to fill while you want to do the other thing. So it's great two lanes for dumping and there's actually four spots for filling. So excellent system. The next day we had a 612 kilometer drive through Quebec and into Ontario, where we stayed at Voyageur Provincial Park for the final night of our trip. made it into Ontario and are only five and a half kilometers from Voyager where we're spending the night. Yepers! Night number 16 of this trip. Long one. We arrived at Voyager Provincial Park. This park has 148 electric sites, 267 unserviced sites, one cabin and five yurts. There are five comfort stations with flush toilets and showers and three have laundry facilities. There are four beaches, and I am glad to let you know, four playgrounds, a park store, an amphitheater, two boat launches, and two hiking trails. And this is us, site number 66 at Voyager Provincial Park. This is a pretty big site. We didn't park the best way. We just parked away so that we could stay hooked up because we're only here for one night, just a few hours to, to sleep and then continue on. So we gave you a review of this park. Ooh, that's bright. Last year, 
and in every scene it was either rain or drizzle so we decided to sh give you a little bit of this right now in full-on sunshine because it is a gorgeous day here at Voyager morning we did the 606 kilometer drive home to conclude this amazing trip we would like to thank jamie and kelly for giving us a tour of this wonderful pe mm. island adventure we couldn't have done it without them and now we're going to toast with some raspberry cordial, cordial. can of green gables which is anna green gables drink that she gave yes, her friends. it, it, it uh, she gave this shows up in the see? books yes that's okay, let's All right. crack her open. Ooh, it's smoking. Cheers. 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 <laughs> well, that's a wrap for our trip to PEI. We hope you enjoyed our trip and tagging along with us. And to end this trip, we're ending in Ontario, the place we love. And this is the beautiful Voyager Provincial Park. So it's a beautiful ending for a beautiful place that we visited. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Happy camping. Bye.